This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. When buying or selling your home, call Leo Bato. He has years of experience in real estate, showing honesty and integrity in every transaction. He's a person you can definitely trust. So book your appointment with Leo Bato today by giving him a call at 818-648-4837 or by visiting him on the web at www.leobato.realtor. This episode is brought to you by ABBA eServices. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, my compadre, Mr. Raymond Marasigod! <laughs> Live clap. Wow. I thought I had a button. Eh. JJ, when you're in the clap, eh, no? Pwede, no? It's a live audience. Well, congratulations on being here, finally. Parang nanalo ako ng premyo. Eh. Actually, mali mo. Kasi si JB, yung isang guest natin, di ba may dalang snare drum oh. at saka sticks. sticks. At pentel pen. At pentel pen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ibibigay oh. sa'yo nung pala magpapapirma lang. Yun na nga. Ayun. Kala natin may iuwi na tayong snare na ano. Ultra combo muna. Okay. Anong, paano, nang, paano pinanganak ang ultra combo? Okay, okay. So every week, this is literally every week for the past 10 years, people are calling the management in the office inquiring about the heads, which is understandable since the reunion 10, 10 12 yeah. years ago. And obviously, we're not together. And then at some point, I think, no, 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 wait. I watched, what did I watch? I just told this story a few days ago. I watched a, a wedding band here in the States. Okay. And no, no, no. I was in a wedding and then there was a festival in Seattle, the Bummer Shoot Festival. And then Prince's old band, okay. The Revolution, was playing. I said, I want to see The Revolution. I'm a big fan of Prince. Diba para? How will they replace Prince? Correct. So it's the original lineup, Wendy and Lisa and Dr. Fink, yeah, the, the, yeah. the original, in, in full Purple Get Rain talaga, costume, yeah. full Purple Rain set. But they had a young singer who did not look nor tried to sound like Prince. nor dance like Prince. So I said, that's the secret. Because we have a thing sa mga Pinoy's. I think it's a Pinoy thing na parang kailangan si Prado eh. Kailangan, kailangan kaboses, kamukha mo yung... Yung singer. Diba? Oh. Yung singer, yung kamukha mo si Axel Rose, yeah. kamukha mo si Freddie Mercury, pati damit, pati accent, lahat. All the inflections, the moves, diba? And then this kid, I don't even remember his name, was just as effective because he didn't try to be Prince. And then I remembered when the heads broke up in 2002, the, the person we hired to sing for the heads was a girl, yeah. si Chris. Mm -hmm. was a good and friend cause, because we were working with Fatal Posporas at the time. I said, hey, yes. Chris, you want to sing for the heads? Because we're still booked solid for seven, eight more months until the next year. We can't. It's on contract. Yep. Ellie left the band and then we found out that it was easier to get Chris to sing because you can't compare. Correct. Because it's... Yeah, babae siya lalaki, di ba? No oh, comparison yun. No comparison, mm -hmm. there was no problem. Ganun din pala, pag, if, if you get someone else to sing and you don't try to be the singer, there's no point comparing. If Correct. you're not trying to be, di ba, the, the, the singer, sabi namin ni Buddy, why don't we try it? <laughs> so we so started... So ikaw, ikaw nag-suggest kay Buddy? Either him or... Oh yeah, well, well Buddy was asking, do you want to play, you miss playing the songs? Yeah, of course I miss playing the songs. Right. I miss playing drums. I was playing the, those songs, and those songs are good songs. Yes. And, and, and we're better players now, diba? we're, we're older. And so, so I don't know who suggested who, but sabi, let's try it. And then we got a couple of, of, of people playing with us, I, mostly friends. And then we kept it on the down low and started playing high school reunions, mga 25th anniversary na high school, mga saints ko. Pero paano nyo minamarket? We didn't. S somebody asked, parang can, <laughs> oh, of course the heads can't play, but will, are you willing to 
<laughs> it's sort of embarrassing at first, diba? Parang we didn't know if 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 it was, diba? Parang if it was good or bad. And then it was, it it was rocking. The shows were were yes were bananas. Yes, you're you're playing to people who know the entire catalog, diba? You're you're pl- playing to your audience. Correct. And, and these people have grown up missing the live shows. Some most of them has never seen the live show. So. And then we started playing more and more. And then outside, then we've been playing Cebu and Davao and all these corporate shows and, and more shows. Parang. So it was a self. And we don't we try to not play a lot of these shows because Buddy's busy with Moonstar and I'm busy with Sandwich and all my other <laughs> bands. Diba? Parang. It's a once a month thing. That we get to diba? Parang. we get to jam and play the heads. Diba? Parang. May just open secret. And then the pandemic. May pangalan na. Sino nag-isip ng pangalan? Well, I did. Okay, ganda ng pangalan. I'm very good with band names. I know, I like it. I like it. Okay. <laughs> the worst band name in the world is Sandwich. Did you know that? Alam mo, kung totoo ba yung... Okay, hindi ko lang ko naalala mo. Kung nito mo sa akin, tinanong ko bakit Sandwich. And sinabi mo sa akin, it was... May merchandise na bago nagsimula yung banda. Yes, yun totoo yun yun? yung idea. Yung marketing yes. idea. But it's the worst band name... In modern times, because if you Google anything sandwich or iba yung lalabas sa YouTube, <laughs> Spotify, so that's the worst band I ever thought about. But everything else, parang I think they're pretty good band. Pero in fairness, ha, bago ka dumating, so shep pinaprep ko yung bahay, di ba? Say ko, Alexa, play songs from Sandwich. Aba. Nagpatugtog si Alexa na mga. ko yan eh. Ayun ang pamangkin ng tita ko si <laughs> si Alexa. <laughs> <clears throat> Panalo. Okay, back to Ultra Combo. So, ito na. So, tumutugtog na kayo once a month. So, that's been like an open secret for the past couple of years. We're playing massive shows that nobody knows about. Parang raves eh. Parang, who talks about the high school reunion or the camp, Christmas party of, of uh-huh. this call center company? Na, diba? And we don't post anything. There's no social media. And then the pandemic happened. <laughs> and we started doing videos. Right. And playing online shows, so it started getting you know coverage online, and and then the tour happened. So now we need to promote it. We, but nobody in the states have has heard the band. Yes. So there, you really but know. But very very small. They were only the hardcore fans know about it. And By the way, shout not, out to ano, Toggle Switch. Okay? Yes. Okay. Go to Toggle Switch uh-huh. too if you need tickets or details yes. of the show. Si Galing. Series si Royales. Yes. Galing. Okay. Minention mo kanina, pinubuhay nyo ang, ang songs ng Heads. Bakit hindi nilang mag-Heads reunion? Officially, we, in, a lot, in some years, and this is one of those years, we don't, we don't uh, align our, our schedules. No, no, no. We don't agree a lot <laughs> on many things. <laughs> Ganon simple, you know, yung parang, wag na lang. <laughs> and there's a lot of baggage and it's one of those things na, not not happening at the moment diba? we disagree a lot on many things so it's not worth it to just put the band together right. for, to, for for whatever reason diba? and everybody's doing their thing Ali's doing his thing Marcus is doing his thing Marcus was part of Ultra Combo at some point oh, nga, ano, ano nangyari? Ganun din. Well, there are things that we don't agree on so quits na lang okay na yan diba? okay <laughs> Sayang, no? Yung, yung sabihin... Mamaya si Buddy na lang yan mag-isa, eh, di ba? <laughs> Pati ikaw no, na. He's going to fire me. <laughs> Sila ni Paolo. Kaya mo sinasabi rin. So. <laughs> okay. But honestly, honestly, that's it. We just don't see eye to eye at the moment. And that's why it's not happening. Yung mga don't see eye to eye nyo, is that temporary? I, I used to think it was forever, but a couple of re- reunions already happened. So, di ba, but... Just like anything, mm. I can't say. Okay, the biggest band in the Philippines right now? No, no, no. Kayo yun. Wag mo ko ira right now. So, <laughs> oh, no, I can talk about the biggest bands right <laughs> no, now. No, <laughs> no. The ultimate biggest band in the Philippines, kayo. Okay, that, and then it's non-existent. And you have all these bands that are successful also. Kahit na yung sarili mong project na Squid Nine, that's very, very... <laughs> Tuntuwa kami ni na Jonathan doon. Si Jonathan, and that, sayang wala si Jonathan Buen kami na shout out. Lahat ng mga gamit niya based on gamit mo. <laughs> Dahil sa Squid oh, Nine. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> pero, pero di ba, parang you, you're part of um, history, OPM history's biggest group. 
And at the moment, is it does not exist. So may essentialism, may existentialism, may crisis dun sa gitna. And sinasay mo, you guys don't see eye to eye. Did it ever occur to you that time might be of the essence? Or are you willing to let that go and then just move on forward? Honestly, I don't think about that. <laughs> Yun na nga, eh, di ba? Ang galing eh. I get to play the songs without the heads, uh, circus and baggage. That's fine with me. I'm I'm happy. <laughs> But, but that's that's me. It's not that I don't speak for Buddy. I don't yes, speak yes, for, yes. of course, for Ellie and Marcos. Right. But, parang uh, pag sin pag sinawa mo kasi yung heads, madami ng kasama, eh. de ba? Management and crew and other people get involved, and de ba? It's it's a whole monster. It's another monster. Explain to the young young kids who think that they want to be the most popular musician in the world or the Philippines. Explain to them the monstrosity. Kasi, pag tayong dalawang nag-uusap, naiintindihan ko naman eh. Pero sila hindi nila naiintindihan what comes with it eh. Akala nila, o oh, ba't di magbalikan? Apat lang naman sila eh. Buti lang binang. I don't know how to explain it. In a nutshell lang, yung, yung stress ng may, may, may kampo ka, may kampo yung isa, kanya-kanyang kampo Other na yan. Other people diba? make decisions and I don't know. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know where to begin. It's, it's just the big, it the organization gets too big when it's the heads, de ba? Hindi hindi kaya pwede mo sa time out, di ba? Pwede pwede ng apat na lang tayo. Sometimes we do it, okay. and then, sure, other people soon will get in. <laughs> we'll we'll start something. Na kaming apat lang, de ba? We'll we'll have a drink, we'll have dinner, and then we'll start something. And then people, record companies, and management, and other people, promoters, and it just gets really messy pretty quickly. So I think, I don't know how the others feel, but that's how I feel. Okay. Now, you might be the drummer of the heads, but you've fronted other acts and... No, I've only fronted Sandwich. Are you serious? Yeah, so, I'm on. Ultra Combo, you front bang. I'm the drummer of Ultra Combo. <laughs> no, I'm not in the front. Ah. Buddy sings half the song, so... And you sing half? I sing half, so... Okay, I, and, and Sandwich, reluctant pa, dahil hindi naman dapat ikaw din ang front Exactly, man. that was a... Yeah, an accidental thing. Diba? But but then again, lahat ng... May, meron ka may dust touch pagdating sa ganyan, lahat ng hinahawakan mo. No, that's not true. That, yes, that's true. It's just fun. But it's not... Make no mistake, it's not parang like the heads or anything like, ano... It's just fun bands. It's the because hindi pag-usap namin kausap namin ni Michael Abad <laughs> si Mike si Mike Dizon hindi ganoon na sinasa ako hindi ganoon na pagkakilala ko sa iyo. Ever since ang kakilala tayo you've always had this little this this the little you you've always had a passion like a little kid. Natalga. Maybe that's the secret. It has to for me for it to work. It has I have to feel like it's like I'm just playing. Like mm. I'm just playing. And and if you go back to the heads, if when you get the heads together, it feels like work. It doesn't feel like playing. But right now, if you if you somebody uploaded the Houston show, yes, and Buddy's like, hey, it looks like we're playing. Like, yeah, I, yes. think I was playing. I was half asleep because of jet lag. Yes, but I could feel it. I I couldn't see the audience because there was uh my fog machine. So it's a uh, Houston. And there was lights, parang ganito, just lights, right. just fog machines. Like we're just playing, Ay, like, sarap, buddy. Diba? We're just playing. Nakita mo yung tao rin sa video. Like, I sa couldn't see. Hey, but, but, when you watch the video, yeah, diba? you, you can just see the hands oh. and the and the iPhones. Oh. Pero but during the show, we were just we were just playing. I think that's the secret to all to everything that I'm doing. You just have to be. I I have to remind myself is I'm just playing. Okay, um. How many project? How many ideas have you have you made come to fruition from head knowledge, hanggang sa actual na sa stage ka? Ilang ideas na like ang sandwich? I don't, I don't, I don't count. Kaniyong idea but, but ang sandwich? This is the thing. I work. Um, Michael asked me that earlier. Sabi niya, "Are you making music? Yes, daily. Thinking of ideas daily." And ninety percent of those don't work. That's mm. the thing. That's the thing. I'm I'm writing music every day, and ninety ninety nine percent of those don't work. And you're okay with that? Yes, because you're just playing. If you if you go back to playing Legos, it it you're thinking of a battleship. I'm making a battleship. 
sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> Turns into a in a crappy sports car, <laughs> but that's 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 just me. That's in my head. But um, every day I, I sit down, except for the past two weeks because I don't have my workstation. Right. But it's it's pretty simple. It's it's a computer, and and an old controller, and of course like uh, a bunch of you know percussion and yes. guitars. But I sit down. I work for a couple of hours. If it's not working, I go out and ride a bike. But that's it. And then this oh this thing goes to sandwich. Oh this thing will go to pedicab or this i don't know what this is put it in a folder and someday like years later a singer will like i i need something that has you know trap beats and the new wave shit i have that man <laughs> i have that so every time somebody asks i have that i have that i have that in a folder and it's marked and it says weird Cantado. shit and but i have this weird shit folder choose what you like and say, i want this sound it's like what is it i don't know <laughs> But but that's it. You have to be. It's like Legos. It's yeah. like the uh, toy soldiers. It doesn't end. Okay. Some of it become so good. You know, some of eh. it become better. Better max, max di ba? But as if you count three hundred days here as three hundred plus songs, and only one, di ba? That's that's not a good batting average. But I'm having fun. So let's say, dito sa having fun na to, hindi lang pwedeng ikaw na gahab fun. Oh, yes, yes, lahat of kayo. Oh. Di ba? So, and I have to learn that through the years that you have to give. Uh, parang if I make a demo, kunwari, kunwari, sandwich is a good example. All of them are very have very strong personalities, and all of them are very uh-huh. creative people. When I make a demo, tapos yan. You know this. Yeah. Tapos yan. They have guitars, and yeah. bass, and vocals, backup vocals. I send it to them vocals lang chaka chords. Oh, you make that? the guitar. You you put oh. you, you you play the guitar. You play the Pagdating kay Mike, walang drums 'yon. Yung sa gitarista dadating may drums. Pagdating sa kay Myrene, walang bass part. So they they can make whatever they like. And it's sometimes, you know, yeah, some, yeah, it's sometimes yeah. hard. Yeah, oh, Kasi man. pagbalik sa akin, that's not the guitar I was imagining. <laughs> But you have this is what you have to learn that that takes time, 'di ba? Mat dam dam maturity yes. na parang you have to let it go you have to let the song go or else it'll sound like squid nine that's yes. how squid nine that's that's you that's uh 100% you yan eh. 100% uh what do you call it uh yung dictatorship yep. squid nine is a dictatorship all my other bands are democratic so whatever guitar that you put diba, parang, because that's ownership Ganda. When they play the song, oh, this is my part. This is I play this part for for better or for worse. He owns that part. He's going to rock that part because I did not write it for right. him. Right. And they they give me the same thing. Even if Mike writes the song, but he let or Mong writes the song, he let me sing it my way, not exactly the the way he hears it in his head. And then when I sing it live, I have ownership. Then correct. I, I want to sing this like it's my song. Even correct, though correct. I say. I didn't write Celos. <laughs> diba? Mong wrote Celos. But, di ba, parang, ganon. So, okay. Growing up, keyboards. Was my first instrument. And then drums. Because we didn't have a drummer. And then singing. Because, because the singer left. <laughs> <laughs> And an ultra combo with the SP404. I know. <laughs> In lieu of bandmates. Diba? They won't the SP404 won't complain. No won't complain. <laughs> Walang attitude 'yon. Walang attitude doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> And when you turn it off it shuts up. <laughs> you don't need to give it per DM. Diba? Oh, it stays in a box. Mm. No hotel room. No hotel room. Yeah. Galing no SP404. My favorite bandmate. <laughs> if for those who don't know if you know you know the SP404. Yeah. <laughs> Ay, nako. Okay. Now, mm. to tour ka, di ba? Different bands, different genres. And and here you are, still grounded. What keeps you grounded? Oh, that's a good question. My child. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you are a parent, mm. lagi kang baduy. Galing. Lagi kang mali. <laughs> Like I'm badui, like I'm. They were like, "What are you saying? Why are you dancing like this? You're so embarrassing." 
Okay. If you have, if you have a child, especially if you have a daughter, yeah. na nakakahiya ka, di ba? I know. So that I'm sure if you're a parent, you know what yes, I'm talking yes. about. You don't have to be a musician, pero pag may anak ka, baduy ka na agad, di ba? Parang lahat ng ginagawa mo bad. Parang just like we were when we were growing up, but kano magdamit yung tatay ko. But kano but but magpatawa yung tatay ko parang tito. Ganun na ganun na ako, di ba? Parang. Pero one kid lang, no? Atari lang. No? As far as she knows. As far as she knows. No, 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 no. no. One kid lang, one kid lang. Hi, anak, I love you. <laughs> She's almost 22? She's almost 22. <laughs> okay. Now, fa- fatherhood, mm. okay? Uh, daughter. Were you imposing on Atari with regard to her being a musician or Dude, this bahala? is a good podcast. Nobody's asked me this in a podcast. Okay. Okay. She has no restrictions. Zero. Growing up, no. Then, but but she knows how to play everything because out of uh, osmosis. Uh-huh. Because there's instruments around that. There's a guitar in every room. There's right. a piano in a couple of rooms. There's drums everywhere. All her titos and titas play. Her mom is a bass, bass player. Is, yeah. right? All of her titas and titos are in bands. She grew up in the clubs. <laughs> Literally, since she was two, she's been hanging around in the clubs until she figured it. Baduy na to, ah. <laughs> diba? When you're 15, parang, why am I in like my dad's bar? Diba? Diba? I need to find my peeps. And then she Go finds ahead. her music. But I never told her to be a musician. But she plays music. She loves music. She's a super fan. She's she's here in the States to watch the BTS show. Kasama ka? No, no. With her mom, si Myrene. But no, I, I know. But but di ka sumama ang tanong ko. Un- un- unfortunately, I'm not a fan. Sorry, I'm not an army. I tried. <laughs> you It's know, not you, for me. Pero tina mo ay, yung word na you tried, di ba? Ibig sabihin, open-minded yeah, ka. I listen to all her stuff. Yeah. Some of it crosses over. Kunwari, uh, yung punk namin magkaiba. Pe- pero yung kanya is like in the all-time low, the, the main, the, the Vans Warped Tour. Yes. Which is like too young for me now, yes. but she understands my punk because yun dun galing sa, de ba sa mga Green Day, Blink One yeah. Eight So na na dig nyan so yun yung crossover and then we cross over sa mga parang Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In her stuff, I started to like para oh, Taylor Swift is fucking awesome. Hindi ba? De ba kasi when she was little, I took her to Taylor Swift, I took her to Katy Perry, which was super psychedelic show, de ba? Kaya mga kanta yung mga yon, no? All these other artists. So I try to get into some of her stuff. Parang she introduced me to Adele, who parang kung ako lang di ko naman di ko papain ganto eh. But then she like played me this record, I started crying. Parang oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. What's happening? What did she do? No, she had a breakup, and she, you know she got married, had a kid. Okay, this is so sad. <laughs> so Pero ramdam yah. So may reverse osmosis there. Mm, mm, I'm. We're both big music fans. Mm. Parang she got me into Harry Styles, but I'm not into One Direction. Yes, yes, yes. Parang ganon. Parang may give and take. Hindi lahat ng gusto ko kailangan yung gusto niya or lahat ng gusto niya. So nagbabasa ganon kami. Parang okay. Yung mga yung mga styles na meron ni Atari, yung mga styles na meron mo pag nag pag nagsama yan dalawang yan. How does it inspire you to create your own music? Napapansin mo ba na? Uy, puti para ako na influence yano na or or nagkakaroon ba ng I don't I don't think about it pero si Erica my girlfriend yeah. parang she was talking about kunwari uh, Katy Perry one day and we're discussing this song and then the next time I write as song sabi niya hey I hear Katy Perry that's the that's wait I, that's ano since you've been gone ah. go, oh yeah I, but you don't realize it that you get the 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 drum groove of one song or or the bass line or 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 a synth sound a lead synth sound na Wait, that sounds like the Lady Gaga I was listening to the mm. other day. Oh, I but but, but I right. don't hindi, hindi, unconsciously. Yes, yes. yes. Like, oh, I gotta change it. Sorry, okay. <laughs> but for you, the when you're make part, oh, oh, I never like this synth sound. I you didn't know. realize your girlfriend was listening to it on the car like five hours going to San Juan, de ba? Parang Pero Rames pa niyon, like nagyari sa mga ni JJ yon. Mm. Meron kami ginawang kanta, ganda ng verse, ang ganda ng chorus, yung pre-chorus ng kanta namin katunog ng River Maya, di ba? As in note for note yung mm. melody. Like pag umabot sa point na may nagawa kang kanta na crucial yung isang part, do you shelve that song kung may katunog or do you change it? Or do you... I'm very brutal with editing. I don't care. Just mm. change it. It's, it doesn't matter. 
just change it. That's me. That's right. just me. I'm not, it, I'm not precious with, with ah. music. Ne- never. But, uh, oh, if it sounds like that, just change it. You can just offset it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Para may balang, oh, diba? it's just change it. Like, doesn't matter. Okay. Para sinabi, oh, magkamuka kayo ni Noah Sandali, palit lang sapatos. Diba? <laughs> that, for me, that was, it's that, I know, I, when, when I was younger, there's an, ano, parang, no, this is how I wrote it. This right, is how right, I heard right, right. This is how it should, the world should hear it. But eventually, as we grow up, they're parang, no, you don't want to look like someone else. They're parang, so parang I want to change it as far away from that as possible. If you listen to the old head songs, yeah, it sounds like something at the time was mm. popular and unconsciously or consciously was, diba, got into the song. But now as I g- grow older, parang, hindi na eh, dapat, you don't want to, diba, you, I want to look like me now. I don't yes, want to look yes. like, I love The Cure and I used to look like The Cure, but, diba, sometimes I still do, but, I'd, or it, the songs that I make always sounds like The Cure, but, mm. Pag natapos, I, it's, this is too goth again. But let's change it. As, oh, now it sounds like too Depeche Mode. Let's go back to... Alam mo, hindi, ka na, hindi ka na nasasaktan na... Hindi na. Hindi na. At all. Zero. Parang, parang nga sinabi, uy, pareho tayong sapatos. Ha? Ah, mukha na tayong kambal. Tanga. Palit lang tayo. Madami ka naman sapatos eh. Correct. Diba parang? So, ay, sino ang... Palitan mo yung medyas. Pwede naman. <laughs> Pwede, oh. Oh, ganun ka simple. Pwedeng drastic. Pwedeng konti lang. Pagdating sa production, like mm. you're a producer. Oh, that's... S- sino? I love this podcast. <laughs> what are we drinking, guys? Whiskey. <laughs> so, no whiskey? Whatever. Okay. Michael, sa, ga- sa gap. Ngayon na ba? Honestly, I'm really impressed. Uy. I thought you were just a drummer. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a very good... Nobody's asked me these questions. Seryoso ka? I'm... I know. Wala pa tip of the iceberg pa lang yun. Ha? Wow. Kaya, pawiskihin nyo to. <laughs> okay, game, game, game. So, itong, <clears throat> itong production, di ba? you're a producer. And, syempre may darating na artist mm. sa'yo, right? Ang artist ba, when you start producing, like I remember si, si Melody Del Mundo. Okay. okay. Sugar Hiccup. They were the first. They were the first. They were the first. She We said, didn't know anything. But she said so many good things about you. She would nung podcast siya. Sabi ko, <laughs> If Ellie and Raymond were to produce you again, would you agree? Sabi niya, ultimate dream daw yon for both of you. Dahil nga, polarized kayo yung dalawa. Sabi niya, it would be nice to see them producing. That's as- not gonna happen. <laughs> anytime soon. I love you, Melody. <laughs> Pero yon, like, Sugar Hiccup was your first uh, production gig. Yes. Did she tell you the story? Pumasok, pumasok lang daw kayo lang bilang, oh, ikaw mag-produce, ito ang artist, and that Yeah, because parang they got signed, but the record company didn't know how how to produce them. So they got Ellie, and I was just back up. So that mm-hmm. was the start. They were the first. And then they got us to do the jerks, and then later... Pero yun, like yung pro- producing side, yung pag produce Accidental producer din pala ako, no? Yes. Can, tell, tell me the journey. Kasi, ano yung mong accident? Si accidental singer, accidental drummer. Ngayon, See, accidental that's what producer. happens when you're just playing. I didn't have a dream. I never dreamed, I'm going to be a producer. I'm going to be a drummer. No, you're just playing. So if you're playing, it just happens. I think that's that's my realization now. Galing, I'm not no? even drinking yet. Oh, ay, ooh, ganda no, no, but, but diba, parang, that was, that's the thing, I think. So when you started producing... What comes to mind first? Pag halimbawa may nakita kang artist, mm. anong, unang, anong unang nakikita mo sa artist na to? It's a song. I have to hear the song. <clears throat> And then, make, this, make the song come to life. Do you make the song come, come to life? Or do you... I just help. The, oh, okay. I just help and guide the artist. So, kunwari hindi ko kilala yung artist someone comes along like a record company hires us to do an a, an artist from Cebu or a new artist we hang out first so you hang out and you type more what what music do you listen to Para, oh we like slipknot or or oh i like tame impala so ah, alam mo na yung alam mo na yung ano kung hindi ko kilala talaga yung artist send me a playlist and i'll listen to that all week so we're in the same vibe eh paano kung alin ba yung artist gusto ng slipknot pero tunog One direction. I, I have to find that way to connect that. 
Yan ang trabaho And mo. that's the challenge. <laughs> nga. And also, pag meron din na dumating sa akin na hindi, alam kong hindi para sa akin, I say, no, that's not for me. I don't think I can help you. I, mm. I know, a, but I know a guy. You're okay. So, so mare, somebody asked me, ang galing. I have this jazz record I want to produce. I, go, I don't think I can contribute a lot. So I, I'll call somebody. Parang, you should call this guy. Or it's an R&B record. Or call Jay, Jay Durias. Or ganon. Parang, some, some things are not, I know it in my weakness and diba, things that I can do. So parang sa mga kanta, you're willing to let it go. Hindi ka na, hindi ka na sentimental kumbaga. kumbaga no, parang, no, no. Of course. Did you find, did you notice na the more you let go of things, mas lalong dumarat, dumarating yung tamang project or kanta for you? I Ganun never thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess, I guess. Oh. Diba? And the artist opens up more if if you're not sentimental. Ah, sabi niya, oh, I can do whatever I want. Diba? Kasi I'm not afraid of trying and failing. Hindi ka rin strict as a producer? No, no. I'm strict with in, in some ways, pero parang may mga non-negotiables. Like? Pag hindi mo naramdaman, hindi yun tama. Okay. I don't care what kind of technical playing it is or how bad you played it or how well you played it. Kailangan kukulot yun. And that goes for all my bands and bandmates. It, it's not just as a producer. Whatever we lay in, kailangan nang gigigil ka or kumukulot yung toes mo eh or tatayo yung balahibo mo in some sort of way parang alam mo na alam mong yun yung take eh. diba it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be whatever but but that take is you're you're hinahanap mo yung the magic take over, and and we're setting up that take even before you enter the the studio you set up the studio may may amoy na yung studio may may may, may vibe na oh. may vibe na yung in order mong pagkain sinong dadating as ah, si ganito ah ito yung gusto niya yeah. yung gusto niyang inumin na uh, kung kung may alcohol siya kung gusto niya na ng dubi alam mo na handa na yun pag take niya yun yun and alam your job as producer is, that's part of the job setting up the mood setting then. up the mood of the studio right before you play a single note now, ikaw ang una mong producer was si ano, Robert. Robin Rivera. Robin? The, well, yeah, Robin Rivera. Robin Rivera. Rivera. Not uh, Nievera. Yeah, ang una mong producer. Yes. Akala ko si Robert Javier, hindi? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Duman kay Robert. Okay. So how was it working with Robin uh, Rivera? Rive- Robin was our professor in UP. Yeah. And then he knew some things about recording. Kasi Mascom. And then he studied in the States. He had a four track. He recorded the first Heads demo. And then siya yung nag- taught like almost everything we know about producing galing kay Robin. Okay. So Ngayon, that, sinong pinakahuli mong, sinong tao ang huli nag-produce sa'yo? That's a good question. I always just get Buddy. Siya yung sparring partner ko. Magaling si Buddy, no? Si Buddy, oh. Alam mo, si Buddy for some reason, ang dami nagsasaya, notorious, oh, napakagaling na. Si Buddy and uh, I worked with uh, Tower of Doom. Si, oh my God, so jet lagged. Si, Sino Mike? Oh, cheers. In, tapos in-interview ko pa naman si, ano, no, sa, sa podcast ko. Si, ano nga ba to? Si Rick Joe kasi, ta, si Eric. Perlas. Oh, Perlas. Yeah. I learned a lot from him. Rico. Blanco. Even just working, uh, we Buddy and I played in his album, and he was k- kind of producing it. And okay, then yung style ni Rico. And I've seen Rico when he was so hands-on on everything. Nung when I worked with him when he was younger, na pati yung pitch nung lahat nung drums ni mm-hmm. tuner siya. Yeah. To ibang iba na siya nung ten years later. So ayon. Sino, sino ang, okay, ano naman ang hinahanap mo sa isang producer? Kasi ang hirap eh, di ba? Like, like songwriter ka and you've collabed, pero producer ka, meron kang ano eh, nakikita mo na yung big picture, pero is it challenging to let someone talaga take the reins and go, okay, fine. Not at all. Not at all. So ano pag, hinahanap pag, In fact, pag, pag sandwich or pet, if I'm the artist, I don't want to be producer. So kunwari, sandwich and pedicabits, 
there has to be somebody producing either Simong sa sandwich mm. or Mike or si Buddy. Mostly Buddy in all my other projects. But but because I don't want to think nung, nung big picture when I'm the artist. If I'm in Pedica, I want just want to be the synth player. I want to be, I just want to think about my parts. Yes. I don't want to think about the, what yes. fits in what. And somebody has to tell me, oh, you're playing too much or less or that's the wrong sound or the wrong range. Too many notes, too too few notes, or stop playing or whatever, deba. She, you know, she body. I want to talk about body for. By the way, shout out nga pala kay body sa bala. So, nung bata tayo, tuwanto ako kay body because actually magagalit sila si Jobert, si body, yung mga bayista natin. Talagang they were very creative nung bata pa tayo and all that stuff. But yung notoriety ni body as the years progressed and nag- nagiwala iwala na tayo. Marinig ko pa talaga is very meticulous with regard to finding the right sound. Not only the right vibe, vibe, but the right sound. Tapos nakatrabaho niya si Kenneth Ilagan sa The Dawn. Yeah. Kinakwento sa akin ni Kenneth, very meticulous si Buddy when it comes to the whole soundscape of The Dawn sa stage na si Buddy ang in charge dun sa part na yon sa live setting. Ngayon ko lang na-realize as in today na drum and bass kayong dalawa ni Buddy and for some reason, dikit na dikit kayong dalawa. But the secret is, we're both keyboard players first. Oh. <laughs> so we both think in terms of keyboards. Bef- so, alam mo yun, we both relate sa arranger na keyboardist than arranger na drummer and arranger. So, <laughs> later pa yung, yung groove because that's the connection. So si Buddy is more, if, if I'm in charge of, of, of groove and orchestration, Buddy's in charge of harmony. So yung what the guitars and the bass, how the relationship of what everything is doing harmonically, that's his job and my job. Tas hating hati kami sa gitna, cause I don't understand what he does. I mean, I know what he's doing. I can't do it, or I I just understand how right. to do it. He does it. Ako naman yung ano how everything fits in rhythm. Kasi ang hand so, and glove kayo dalawa. Eh. So match na match kami yes. sa production. Yes. Ako lang yung maingay, kasi. <laughs> <laughs> Very low key si Buddy, eh, oh, but, but but he's always in cha. Parang if if it's vocals time, I'm just going to sleep. Siya na bahala. <laughs> oh, bahala ka na. If it's if it's something na rhythmic, uh, ano? But basa nakaganon. Basa right. harmonically yung what the bass, the relationships of of, of what the relation of, of the notes that the bass, the guitar, the keyboards, and the vocals are playing. He knows the ranges and. And what para, pag, if I describe it to him, but pagdating ng bridge gusto ko bumukas para binuksan yung bintana, he knows so oh, this chord, yes, that's the chord. He'll give me two or three chords in less than five chords, he'll get what I want. Parang ganun. Or sabi niya, "Rames, parang ano dito eh. Gusto ko dito bibigat na parang binagsakan ng Okay, I know what to do." Parang ganun. Nakakatawa noon, nakakatuwa. Ngayon ko lang na-realize lahat pala kayo well-versed sa chords. No, I'm not. I'm not. As in, hindi ka, pero yung tinga mo matalas kasi. Eh. No, I I hear things and then describe it to him and, and then, then he'll do it. Oh. No, okay. Siya ang maglalagay ng chords noon. Mm-hmm. He'll 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 know what it is in a, oh, oh that that's a flatted fifth or whatever. I don't I don't know. Wow. I don't care to I mean, I w- I would like to learn it someday, pero yung ganun ba nang. So ikaw, we're speaking of learn. You've never stopped learning to the point na as a an accomplished drummer like Michael Alba ka pa. Yes. Pwede naman hindi eh, di ba? Pero Bakit hindi? Yun exactly. Thank, Bakit thank you for hindi? saying that, di ba? Other people feeling na tumapboard na sila. Wala na silang kailangan matutunan but ikaw, there's always that word learn. Learned learning. Lagi I've, I've heard it I've heard you say it so many times. Pero what an an ano sa nanggagaling yung quest for for knowledge mo and that's a good question i don't know <laughs> i guess it's just fun parang there's sounds in your head that you can't do why not learn right. how to do it <laughs> so ano reaction ni michael nung biglang eto ka oh no mike's cool it's mike's sobra. pretty cool he's younger than us but yes. he's super cool and he's the most generous person when yes he, I find that a lot of drummers from you from teaching me things to Mike who's a master Grabe, no? uh, uh, drum teacher most drummers are very gracious of what they 
they they know parang how how does he do that thing parang may paparinig ka sa kanya paano nga to and then he'll break it down uh, yes the same way you 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 taught me things back in the day this is a paradiddle <laughs> what the fuck is a paradiddle and say like, this is that's what the police does oh i learned that okay okay show me that right right ting 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 okay okay but like paradiddle i want to learn that and then i was like oh that's si jun boy that's what he does okay let me learn that oh my god let me learn that shit they were parang but because it's fun okay sa gitara no naggitara ka na paano paano naman paano ka naman gumaling gumagitara hindi pa rin ang magaling Ay, hindi, in, in fairness hindi ang magaling naman. i'm not trying to be humble i'm i'm not a technical person i just know enough to play what i hear okay if i don't if i hear it and i don't know how to play it that's when i try to learn but i don't learn for the sake of technique yeah. so i refresh ko because marami ako na encounter na gitarista na napakagaling technically pero balbon pagdating sa tugtugan which means ito yung buong banda nakapatong yung gitarista sa buong banda ikaw sinasabi mo na technically hindi ka magaling but when you play guitars talagang talagang lapat na lapat sa tugtog ng music i think i have a weird way of playing it kasi it stems back from i'm not a pianist i'm an organist so it's based on the feet yes. and chord base chord chord base chord oh. base chord base so no we didn't have a drummer that was easy like sne- kick snare snare kick snare kick snare parang ganon and then that's how i see the guitar like the downstroke is the kick and the upstroke is the the parang dave grohl ha alam mo ganun si oh di ba dave grohl ganon as in wala rin siyang idea sa sa guitar i still hear the guitar kick, snare. Like, kick snare mm. so so i didn't know that uh, What is your ri- rhythm pattern in that song? Like, oh, oh, kick, snare, snare, snake, kick, snare, snare, kick, kick, snare, snare, kick, snare, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, snare, kick, snare. Like, tug, ta, tug, ta, tug. But if you're a guitar player, what's that? Tung, tang, tung, tang, tang, tung, tung, tang, tung, tung, tang, tung, tang, tung, tang, tung, tang. But we hear it's like, pa, 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 pa. But if you play the guitar, so it's a weird rhythm thing. So it's idiosyncratic, I guess. But yes, yes, yes. Nothing that I've thought about, but only comes out because of the other instruments involved. Kaling, no? Yung ano, yung part na pag sinabi mong other... So even if there's like three guitar players inside... Yun na nga, yun na nga. Kaya mo lumugar, alam mo kung saan ka pwesto ron. Because you have to listen. If you're listening to what they're playing, oh, wala na ang lugar, stop playing. <laughs> It's the same. I mean, pag wala lugar, stop playing. And I think, you know what, that speaks highly of, ano eh, of Raymond's musical IQ eh. Y- yun yun eh. Kaya hindi technique eh. Yung I IQ. I love you, man. Totoo naman kasi. Nobody's ever said I have good IQ. <laughs> Rames naman. Naman. Well, I- Wikipedia nyo nalang kung ayaw nyo maniwala, di ba? No, but, 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 seriously. Napapainom ako dyan. Oh, eh. Ako rin, iinom din ako. Cheers. Cheers. Magbabike kami bukas. <laughs> Let's talk about the hook because the one thing that you're good at is creating the hook. Marunong ka magpalipad ng kanta. And maraming kantang magaganda pero pag inaabangan mo, inaabangan like sa Spotify or kahit dito sa local scene dito sa LA and I keep telling friends, there's a formula, there's a hook and um, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you're here because we both know na kung walang hook yung isang kanta, hin- wala eh. Pero ikaw, How do you know and how do you tell your bandmates about the hook? I think I don't think about it that way. I don't think about it as the hook. Mm. I don't need to hear a song and there has to be a hook. That's not how I think about it. I think I might have gotten it from Rico. And his, he said, parang, uh, if you look at a picture and there's a subject, or some something that you want to highlight that's the one in front it not everybody has to be in front so whatever oh. that that thing the subject is diba yun yung ano mo yan yun yung don't oh, focus oh. Oh. whatever you want to focus you may call it a hook but everything is working around it diba pag marami pag kunwari you have a for example that focus is is a riff you can't have other riffs that are nakasing lakas nun. Parang sa sugod. 
pa, pa, so, ra, it's just one, isa lang yung ganon, diba? Yes. Nothing else, diba? Not not the melody or the lyrics. That's that's the main focus, that riff. Everybody thinks it's the chorus, it's the no, nope, it's that. When you hear that thing, whatever you call it, yes. you can call it a hook. I can call it diba, the subject or whatever it is you need to focus on. Diba? Now, do you actively... Or we will rock you, it's you, the drums. Exactly. But no other thing, whatever everybody does, the drums is the focus of that song. Diba? Do you pursue it? Kumbaga, let's say, sinabi mo kanina, every day you write songs, 365 days, may gagawin ka, yung, isa, yung iba dyan wala, yung isa dyan magiging sugod. Pero when you write... Do you write for the garbage can or kailangan ta- kailangan may matamaan ka ng araw na yon? Wala, I just, it's like I said, you're just playing. And sometimes may diamond doon. Oh, this sounds good. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times it's just like Oh, yon, pag-usapan natin yung diamond. Let's say today may tinamaan na diamond. I don't I wouldn't even know if until it gets released and it gets famous. But how do you know that that's the song I need to focus on? And I'm asking lang these questions for them. Oh, no, no, this is, this, this is a good question. Every song for me is a hit. When Ooh. I'm writing it, whatever it is, for whatever band, for whatever project, at that moment in time, this is the greatest thing ever. Just like when you're playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the greatest spaceship that I'm constructing. This will destroy planets. That goes Galing. for all my bands. Every single. If you listen three days later, oh, that was crap. <laughs> but at the moment, <laughs> but every single moment that you make it, but, oh my, this is the greatest thing. Why had nobody's written this before? Mm. Diba? But it could be years later, three years later. It sounds like crap, but <laughs> that's it, I think. That's okay. how I do Well, that's how I do I don't know how other people do it. So... Th- There's this, ano, there's this, um, ito, pibigyan the scenario. So, today, this song is a hit. Kalimutan na natin three days later. So, we don't work out matong song na to. Tapos, kailan, kailan mo siya ibaba to kay na Mong or kay na Mike? Kailan, kailan mo ibaba to yung kanta na yun? Oh, when, Do you, when it's time to write the album. Doon lang. Nakabang ko na eh. Mm. Tawag, sila din nakabangko na yung songs you don't bug them every day they're busy they have families and businesses and blogs and podcasts and bicycles diba? you don't bug every except for Diego Diego will just like throw songs at me <laughs> at any moment of the day 3am Rim say look at your email I sent you a riff para akong ganun yata para except akong si for Diego yeah you see similar personality parang super energetic <laughs> yeah but he write diba parang very random But most of us, like, nakabango, nakafolder na yan. When it's time for Pedicab to write, Diego, Mapa, here's the folder. This is what I have. What do you have? Send me. Parang ganon. So, in audition nyo, isa't isa yung mga ano nyo? No, they listen to it in their own time. Okay, yeah, and, then, diba? and then they gravitate to something. It's like, like, oh, I'm like working ikaw, on ganun it. Din, ganon diba? din ako. Oh. And then I work, oh, I like this. Diba? You listen to it in your car while driving. Parang, oh, these three, like, speaks to me. Speaks parang to me. Oh. <laughs> I want to write. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, how funny that may sound. That's yun how it works. Yun eh, no? diba? And sometimes it's not a good song, but but it speaks to you. Yes. <laughs> Gano'ng katagal na ang sandwich? Ang sandwich ginawa... 24 ginawan, years. Yes. Because hindi ko makalimutan yan. Nandun ako sa bahay ni Jonathan Buencamino nung time na pinag-uusapan natin yan. Kasi si Mark Abaya lives in Horseshoe. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yup. Kapit-bahay nyo rin. Kapit-bahay namin. So tapos, okay. So 24 years ang sandwich. Would you consider this my longest relationship? Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say yes. Cheers. <laughs> Which is true, by the way. Okay. You'd say the same thing about your band. I know. Grabe, no? Grabe. Longest How old is the intro voice? Thirty. Thirty-five. So your longest relationship. My longest relationship. <laughs> so tanda pa kay Jaja yung intro voice. Ay. <laughs> anyway oh, Anyway Okay Sandwich Anong plano ng sandwich? Oh that's good That's good We're planning something big On our 25th When is that? Next year Okay so tama na yung pinag-uusapan pala natin mm, But oh. I can't say it yet Because it's still in the planning stage. Okay Ayan. 
But we are releasing a video on the next few days. I just don't have the dates right now. But we shot a video last month, and it was fun. And yeah, sino ang creative director ng sandwich? Everybody, everybody's creative. Everybody in that band is. is just Paano pag ayaw mo yung idea ng isa sa inyo? Oh no, you vote on it. You vote. It's Democracy that simple. Talaga. It's that simple. Pag ayaw nung... What if you get outvoted, Mr. Marasigan? It doesn't matter. You just like suck it up. Talaga? Oh, but, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like my idea. I wanted that. You use it in Squid Nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, diba, I give them like 20 songs. Ilan lang yun sama sa album? Walo? Sampo? Like, oh, I love this song. It's gonna go to Squid Night. Or, 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 or a new artist. Yo. <laughs> Kevin, I heard you're looking for a psych, psych trap, uh, trap beats. I have it. Diba? Nino Graves has it oh, for you. Parang ganon. Every, all my frustrations... On all my bands go to Squid Nine because, like I said, it's a, a totalitarian uh, project. Ang galing he. Actually, ang galing. Let's talk about your podcast. Oh, I like that. That uh, off stage hang is my podcast. That is Darren Lim's idea. Okay. Darren Lim owns the Indie Guitars. Yes. Who make our guitars for Sandwich? So, paano nangyari yon? Paano pinagkano? He's been yun? he's been bugging. We're 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 close friends, and he's been bugging me. Parang I do talaga si Joe Rogan, Rames. I want something like that where we, because we'd have parties and like, and somebody will tell a story yeah. from way back, and it's like that needs to be in a podcast, Rames. Yes. Like, we need to do this. I go, but pre-pandemic we didn't have the time. Both of us, we were always playing gigs, and he has D and D. But another party comes along, and then somebody's just like, you know, that time when I know Francis M or Ganito, or that time when. I said, ah, oh, that, that needs to be in a podcast. So the pandemic happened, so we finally did the podcast. So Galing eh. As in fans kami ni na Michael ni na JJ na ganun. Ng... But I want this setup. This is our oh, dream so setup. Puro tayo Joe not Rogan. Puro tayo Joe Rogan fans pala talaga eh. No? I'm, Long not, form. I'm not a Joe Rogan. Sorry. But, no, but, nobody's but, perfect. You know, I mean, I like I like Questlove's podcast. <laughs> Yun maganda siya. Yung cooking podcast niya. No, no, no. May, meron din siyang ano, eh, podcast na ano. And then there, uh, there's uh, ano pa ba yung isang pinapakingan ko? Ang naisip ko lang yung kay pa- Ah, yung kay ano, Rick Rubin. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kay Rick oh. Rubin, yeah. So that was that was my version and his is Joe Rogan. So oh. yung pinagsama yun yung offstage ha. Ang galing eh, di ba? Long form, no edits. No, may edits. Kayo may edits. Kayo. Same, same. Parang some people don't. But because of the internet, yung nakakat or dogs coming in, kids yeah. coming in, yeah. di ba? Yun lang. Uh, uh, or the guest would say, parang can you just take out that part when yung ganun? So, oh, no problem. Oh, nagkaroon kami ng ganun. Mm. Oh my God, ang dami niya sinabi. Tapos biglang the following day, ah, can you take out the whole podcast? Ah, okay din. Na. <laughs> Parang si Buwi. Si Buwi din, nag-podcast kami. Buwi Meneses, shout out. So, podcast kami, dating siya, di ba? The following day, tawag siya, Pax. Parang hindi ko maalala lahat ng mga sinabi ko sa podcast kahapon. Ayun, Pwede ba natin ulitin? <laughs> So ako, ako naman, game ako. Sabi ko, sige, ulitin na lang natin. Tapos biglang joke lang. <laughs> Loko-loko talaga. Kaya panoorin niyo yung podcast niya. I think it's one of the most, uh, um, para ako ba sabihin, challenging. Yan, 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 yan. So pag-usapan natin offstage, Hang. Mm. Hang, um, when, nung finally sinimulan niyo ni, ni Darren, mm. ano ang, ano ang naging concept ng, uh, what did you feel about doing this? Oh, no, I don't, sabi niya, Let's just ask, let's invite the guest and ask questions. That's it. That's it. That was it. Kasi ang galing si Jet may podcast, di ba? Pandemic din lang Pandemic yata din nangyari. Din oh. uh-huh. So ano ng future ng, ano, ng offstage? The future is, this is the future. I want this set up. Kasi we've only started doing live interviews a few weeks ago. Right. Yung live in the studio, but. Darren, I will, I'll show him this setup. Yeah, this sige, is, this sige, is sige. the dream setup. And hopefully, pag nandito si Darren sa LA, di ba? Yes, he will probably come for, uh, ano yun, Nam? Nam? Yun, Nam. He'll yun. He'll probably come for Nam. So, Darren, ikaw, hindi ka babalik? Pag sinama niya ako. <laughs> Pucha. Game. Game. Di ba, para mas masaya. Okay, so that's the podcast. Ngayon, ano pang, ano pang meron in the works? Like, yung dalawang mag-ama, wala kayong gagawin project? Si Atari? Yeah. Oh, all right. 
Oh yeah. The bike. Uh, the bike. Pa- uh, what do you call it? Vlog. I don't even know what vlog. Call it. Okay. So since the pandemic, I started, you know, taking videos of yeah. of random things. Ang galing ng vlog mo yung narration mo. I like it. So no, magandang kwento niyan. So I started posting it online, and then I had. I had a friend who told me, said, "You're posting stuff online. Are you earning money?" So I go, "No, I don't have a lot of followers, and I don't have you're right the thing na para hi." And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I, I just like editing videos and taking videos because it's the pandemic and keeps me sane. Okay. So I said, "No, the money is not on the on the following things. So that's for the million viewership." Yeah. YouTubers, I don't want to be a YouTuber, but that's that's not for my age at the moment. I was saying, no, your friends, good friends with Team Manila, do merch. Yes. So I go, what? I said, look at me, I'm doing merch. And then I said, how much do you earn? I said, I'm paying rent and electric bills. And I said, what? Yes. <laughs> so I, I I give a call to Mon Punsalan, shout mm, out mm, of Team Manila. Shout out. I said, Mon, can you help me? You know, is is this possible? Sabi niya, oh, gawa lang tayong design and then you sell it. Sabi ko, I don't know anything about marketing or business. And then my daughter, who, who's a, you know, part of a marketing org, JMA, she started putting up the the back end, the, the business part. Sabi ko, I'm, so you mean I can just design shirts, ride bikes, shoot videos, edit and make music? Weird Pero time music out, time. For- you're missing out. You're missing What? one important thing. Kung papanood niyo guys, And I would recommend you guys watch his vlog channel. Ang galing mo magkwento. Yung narration ang maganda ron eh. Sometimes five no, minutes. No, no, no. That's a that's a thing. I didn't want to narrate at first, but pero walang kwenta pala pag ano lang. <laughs> pag subtitle lang. <laughs> Cuz I didn't wala I can't I tried. I cannot talk to a camera. For some reason, I cannot I, talk hey to a Hey guys! <laughs> si Mike Dizon is a natural. Yes! Ang pinapanood din natin yung ano niya, di ba? Yung kanyang food so, channel. So, yeah. idol si Mike. And I have another story for Mike. But, but, papi ko, I can't talk to a camera. I'll just narrate it. I'll just... Pero ang ganda. But I'm, I'm, I, I've... Ang college course ko is broadcasting. Yes. So, parang full circle. Yes. I know how to edit. I know how to write a right. script. Di ba? Parang... Very I tried cohesive. saying it in a nice voice, but it doesn't work. So yeah. I'll just say it in you, my The way voice, you're speaking, your speaking voice, I think that's what captured it. Eh. That's what got it And for me. I'm not conscious when I just wake up in the morning, so it sounds na para akong sabog. So paano mo ginagawa? Mag-e-edit ka na? I, eh, no, no. No. Baliktad. So I shoot oh. a video. I don't know what I'm shooting. So I just keep shooting like half a day's yes. ride. And then I make the music. <laughs> what is the vibe of that ride? That ride is craft work. So I'm just making music, craft work. And then I cut, I take the videos and cut it to my to your music? craft work, uh. fake craft work, fake yes. work. I cut it to that. And then I look for the story. So it takes a few days I look because I'm not a pro. So I go, oh, oh, that's a good story. I'll put that in the intro and then I write it. And it's it's just one page, Deva. Like, oh, this is the start. This is the ending. That's the middle. I write that. And then whatever happens in between. Oh, and we we met Paco along the way. You know, he's the drummer of Intro Voice. And then I don't even have to like yeah. dig up clips. Kasi and, hindi eh, di ba? Yun, oh, no. oh, and yeah. I want it short and sweet. Yes. And, and nothing of the new podcast thing. Ah, vlog things. Normal things. No sound effects. No. <laughs> uh, no, no. I can't, I can't do that. So that's it. And then We started selling, sh- and I'm having fun designing shirts. Of course, with the help of of Mon, parang Mon, I want something like TV, and then it's a drawing ko, and then I'll make I'll make a uh, fake Photoshop of the shirt, and then I'll send. it. 15 minutes later, Aduna. he has the shirt. Parang, oh my god, he's a genius! Like f- seven different variations of the shirt that I was imagining in my head. Two of those are perfect. So wait, gonna get me your shirts a vlog or be na be benta be your memory? We sell it. It's not they're not it's not a lot of shirts until it grew now Team Manila Daily Grind is selling it because nagaaway na kami magama because she still has school <laughs> she still has college we she used to like wrap everything put a card right on it and nung maliit lang yung business but but thankfully anak thank you it 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 we survived the pandemic no shows eh. I have no other jobs eh, but music eh. 
and and that job was non-existent. That was not essential during the pandemic. But riding bikes and selling shirts that's Deep, paying another my thing rent. you're passionate about. It was paying my rent. Uh-huh. It was paying for groceries. It was paying for gas and and corriente, the, the electric bills. So that helped me survive. Parang when gig started playing, I stopped doing it and and Simon was like, Don't stop Don't doing stop it. Doing it. Like, you gotta keep doing it. Like, oh, you mean I have to Okay, okay. So I just had to shoot bikes. It's less and less now, but right. I still enjoy it. But there's one coming out tomorrow. Good. I finished an edit before leaving, but I enjoy it. I just don't know. Parang, how much do you earn? I don't know, but as long as we're paying the bills. I don't know. So is it safe to say if it doesn't make you feel good, I won't back do it. burner? I won't do it. Yeah, I won't do it. So if sandwich doesn't make, get, if sandwich doesn't excite you anymore. But sandwich is different. It's more of a family now yes. than a music yes. venture. So even if we're not active in music, we're hanging out, swimming, having lunches and dinners. We have Christmas parties, birthday celebrations. Family, just like this. Parang ganito, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganito, it's not. Parang music is just a part of it. So sandwich is different. If we're not excited, we're not going to do it. Right. Now, and then this whole journey, ako personally, no, I'll take this time to say I'm very proud of you. Sinabi ko na yan virtually, but I'll say it again. I'm really very proud of you. That. Talagang, talagang, wala. People don't understand it, pero it's nice to, it's nice to have you here. But ikaw, I mean, I've, I've witnessed you grow, okay, from being a dreamer to being who you are right now. And who you are has touched so many lives, including mine. Okay. Ano na ang magiging plano mo itong taon na to para sa sarili mo? Para sa sarili mo lang. We're, we're, we're talking personal. Tapos na ba? Naabot mo na lahat ng pwede mong maabot? World domination. World domination. Yes, always. Just like just like when you, uh, when I'm, I'm not lying, when I'm saying, when I make something like a riff, it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm always aiming alam for mo, that. Para it, it sounds stupid. No, 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 no. But no. parang when Buddy and I go up on stage, we're going to destroy this city. And you know, and what? that's how Sandwich operates. Good. Hundred and ten. So what? Whatever it is, it's like a small gig with five people. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna crush it and destroy it. And you know what, Reims? Ano ah, walang bullshit. Pag sinasabi mong world domination, naniniwala ako doon. Because ever since bata tayo... Even if it touched, it's just in my mind. Though. Hindi rin, hindi rin eh. Because naalala ko talaga, pagkabalik mo galing New York for, for that MTV Awards, talagang kinulit kita, kwinento mo sa akin. You, you took the time to tell me that story. And and I was just in awe na ang galing naabot mo yung mga bagay-bagay na hanggang hindi pa naabot ng ibang mga peers natin and all that and that to me is part of your world domination so don't look <laughs> don't don't lose track on that because because inspiration ka sa aming lahat eh. and you're living the dream alam mo yon do not follow me that's why I tell my kid don't follow me <laughs> it's, it's very High random five, sure. it's very random do not Sin- follow me seryoso ka yeah would you change anything yes should have watched what I ate Di nga tumataba eh. Not healthy right now because of 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 bad diet. But no, I'm kidding. But should have exercised more. <laughs> Gano ka tagal na kayo ni Erica? I don't know. Magbe-baby kayo, hindi? I don't know yet. Pucha ka talaga. <laughs> Take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Raymond Manasiga! <laughs> I can't believe you got me in the trouble. I love my bowel. Bowel, bowel. That's how you do a podcast. How you do it? Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Cheers, guys. Thank you.